Hi everyone, in this video we're just going to look at drawing a basic bubble in Photoshop. You can use any digital program for this, or you could try and replicate it traditionally as well. You can see that I have changed my background to black, just to make things a little bit easier. All I'm going to do is create a new layer, select the elliptical marquee tool in the top left corner like so, click and drag, hold down shift when you do this and it will create a perfect circle, which is perfect for our bubble. I'm going to leave that selection up and I'm going to press B to go onto our brush and I'm going to select a soft brush. You can use any you want. I like this one because it allows me to use pen pressure. And this is the fun bit because we can quite literally just draw around the edge with some colours. So when picking your colours, a bubble like this is one of the few things you can actually go ahead and be quite vibrant and use really bright colours. You don't have to of course, it gives a very different effect. So just fill those in around the edge till you're happy with it. Personally, I'd try and leave it so the middle hasn't been touched by as much colour. I also find that turquoise colours and purples seem to work really well on these. But play around, experiment, see what works for you. Sometimes it's nice just to go right along the very edge with a colour. So you might not want it to go too far into the middle. There really is an infinite amount of ways to do this, so you're going to get a different effect every time anyway. So I quite like that colour range we've got there, but it goes a little bit too much into the centre for me, so I'm going to switch to my eraser tool by pressing E. And again, I'm going to use a soft brush for this. You could play around with a hard brush to get a different effect, because there is no right or wrong. And I'm just going to erase outwards a little bit on this, like so. Now you could leave it at that for the colours, that looks great. Or you could come to the smudge tool on this left hand side here. You might have the blur tool selected, so you might have to come down and select smudge tool, the little finger icon. I'm going to select just a standard brush, and I'm going to go with up here probably about, I don't know, 30% strength. It doesn't really matter too much. And all I'm going to do, if you see there, that's just me clicking and dragging circles to show you how it works. I'm pretty much just going to randomly go in with this brush and just smudge the colours into one another like so. When we're zoomed out, it's not going to be as clear and it just gives a really unique effect, in my opinion, like so. So you could leave it like this, or you could even, on this left hand side, select the dodge tool. And if I show you that just towards the top, you can see that it brightens things a little bit. So I just have a soft brush selected, and again, I'm just gonna go in randomly and brighten certain areas. There's no method to me actually doing this, it's completely random, just to see what I like the look of. That top left highlight I think works really well. So it's going to work better on some colours than others and some shades better than others. At this point I'm happy enough where I can press Ctrl and D which is to deselect. But to finish that off we're just going to add some highlights. So on a new layer you could use a hard brush for this or what I'm going to do is just select the lasso tool. Draw on some highlights like so. Hold down the shift tool when you draw in these if you want to add more selections to the current go. Sometimes less is more when doing these, and then sometimes it just looks good to put loads on. Again, I'm doing it a little bit random. I'm trying to follow the contours or the shape of the bubble a little bit, but it is pretty random. I'm going to select a white colour, and I'm just going to paint in like so. You could leave it like that, or some people prefer to actually add a little bit of colour into those. So whilst they're still selected, you could go in, and I'm just sort of touching the edges a little bit here. I sometimes find it can be quite nice to do a little bit of blue towards the top as if the sky is reflecting back. I can deselect that. So already I quite like that, but on a new layer I could do the same thing again, use my lasso tool to just go in and draw in some more highlights, this time keeping them white. Add in some that are smaller, just little dots. Some of them can be a little bit transparent, some you might want to have completely white, it's completely up to you. Deselect those. And there you have it, a nice simple to make bubble. I'll be honest, this isn't my favourite one. Some of the highlights I think are not working as well as others, but every time you do this you get a completely different effect. So I'm just going to select all those layers and merge them down on the right hand side. So that bubble is now one layer. We can press Ctrl and J on our keyboard to duplicate that. You might like the effect you get straight away, or you might want to move that around, play around with the size of it, like so. And I'll just show you some that I already made before making this video. Again, the exact same method. Some turned out quite nice, some didn't. 
let me move that out of the way a little bit. So you can see this one that I just made is quite a bit brighter in colour. You can keep duplicating them to make a full scene of bubbles, but obviously if you only design one bubble and it's got the same highlights, it might look a little bit odd, so you might want to create a couple of different ones like this. If you take a look on Google, you will see that not all bubbles are as bright and vibrant as this, as you probably guessed. Some have almost no colour in, and you could get away with pretty much just using white. Remember, there isn't necessarily a right or wrong with these. There's loads of different methods you could use to make these. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure you leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've got any tips and tricks for us. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe and turn notifications on for more video tutorials. Thanks for watching, everyone.